Hello, Journey family and friends. Pastor John here and Pastor Dustin Agard. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yep. Good to have you. Uh, Hello. Good to have you. Here we go. Is this working? I, th I think it's working. I think, I think it is. We are interrupting this broadcast mm -hmm. for a special edition of Midweek Conversation oh, today. Yeah. We're calling it Midweek Conversation Takeover with Cass and Tammy. And we are so excited oh, yeah. to be able to take over this time because mm -hmm. this month is Pastor Appreciation Month. And Pastor John and Pastor Dustin are in charge of everything for Midweek Conversation. And Roddy, Pastor and Roddy. Pastor Roddy, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. So they're never going to do anything to appreciate oh, yeah, themselves. No. Mm -mm. So we we have an opportunity to, yep. today to do that. Yeah. And uh, just in a little bit, we're going to hear from some of our staff here about what they appreciate about our pastors. Um, if you would love to write a card to any of our pastors on staff, we're going to have some uh, baskets at both campuses. Uh, go ahead and just drop a card in there, you know, at any of the, the worship services here. If you're part of our online community, go ahead and uh, send us an email, either to Tammy or not, or, or I. Uh, our emails will be on the bottom of the screen, but we'd love to hear what you appreciate about our that pastors. That is so true. Yeah. I love that we work here at Journey. So mm -hmm. we see our pastors all week. We don't see them just on the weekend. Yep. And one thing I love is how they are on the weekend is truly how they are during the week. Oh yeah. It's just Absolutely. so amazing. We are so blessed here mm -hmm. at Journey to have such an incredible leadership and pastoral team. And I can't wait to hear from our staff. Yeah. I can't wait to hear what they're going to say. Me but too. first, Cass, what do you appreciate about our pastors? Hmm. Well, I just, I love how they just invest in us personally, you know, not just as someone on staff, but you know, they pray for us on the spot. Mm -hmm. You know, they're there for us. They care about our, actually we have what we call a soul care day. That's right. Day, a lot of people really this cool. week are mm -hmm. on their soul care day. Yeah. And soul care day is just time where they want us to take a full work day mm -hmm. and just care for our soul. Yeah. And so, so many people are doing that even today. And yeah. so they really do live that out with how they lead us. Yeah, I agree. And that's so huge, you know, especially working for the church and caring for our church members. Mm -hmm. I just love that they're intentional that about that. So and I so appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So what about you, Tammy? I love how genuine they are mm, and how yeah. authentic they are. Like they're so anointed in mm -hmm. how they communicate on the weekend, mm -hmm. but it's just, it comes from such a genuine spirit within them. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I just love that because of that, I think they're so easy to listen to and learn from. Mm -hmm. And yeah. um, I know that so many people, we just hear every weekend stories of how people's lives and families are being totally transformed and impacted mm -hmm. because of how they um, communicate God's word on the weekend. So, so yeah. I love that. I agree. Well, uh, we hope that you appreciate our pastors here at Journey. Mm -hmm. Like I said, drop a card um, at Sunday service, you know, in the baskets or send us an email. But let's go ahead and see what our staff appreciates about our pastors. This is Stacy Mackey, our food services director. Stacy, uh, share something you appreciate about one of the pastors here. I would love to say something about Pastor Roddy. Pastor Roddy is just my go-to person. He's so full of wisdom. His kindness and his generosity is just so overwhelming. But what I love most about him is he comes to the cafe every single Sunday when he's at the Apopka campus. He says thank you to every single volunteer and makes him feel special. But one day my son was at the cafe and my son was wearing a t-shirt that had this little logo on it. And Roddy recognized the logo. So Roddy Connor, Roddy Connor, yes, starts doing a secret handshake with my son. And I turned around, I'm thinking, what's going on? They were both in the same business fraternity in college. So they have, they have this brotherhood that I don't even know about, but they're doing, picture Roddy Connor doing a secret handshake with my son, and they refuse to tell me what's going on. But what I love about most about that is that Roddy stays in contact with my son. And he texts them every now and then, or they just contact each other every now and then. And he follows up with them and sees how he's doing. And I love that he shows me how much he cares. But if it takes a village to raise your child, you definitely want Roddy Connor in your village. He's the best. Thanks, Roddy. We are here with Trey. Trey is one of our residents. Trey, let me ask you, what do you appreciate about our pastors? You know, I feel like I just really appreciate Pastor Jeremy. It's so special to have someone that's able to lead worship and just live his day day to day life in with such authenticity and so much heart and soul behind it. Um, it's really easy, I think, to see people get up and and lead us in worship, but to know that he's doing it from a place of um, 
just a care and a place where he really truly believes everything that he sings is something super special. And I just really, really appreciate that about him. This is Brooke Renfro. She's one of our Journey residents here. Uh, Brooke, tell us, what do you appreciate about the pastors here? Yeah, I think what I appreciate the most about our pastors is just their willingness to completely pour themselves out and uh, serve our body of believers. And uh, for me specifically, I think Pastor Dustin has had the greatest impact on my mm -hmm. life, mm -hmm. just seeing me all the way through from yeah. being a high schooler to now being a resident, going into ministry, and just the way that he sees gold in people and yeah. kind of raises them up. Mm -hmm. I think it's just had such a huge impact on me and uh, has shown me how our pastors have such a desire to uh, serve the next generation of believers and raise them up to become better disciples in Christ. And it's been awesome to experience that here. I really appreciate uh, the entire pastor staff here at Journey and just how much uh, they're willing to go above and beyond to serve the community, to serve the congregation, just how much they, they love everyone and truly care about everyone. Uh, and I wanna give a special shout out to Pastor Randy, who has gone above and beyond uh, for me and so many others, I don't know how many times, uh, whether it was helping coach me uh, to lead a rooted class, whether it was uh, helping me, help teach me um, how to change brakes on a car, or whether it was to uh, actually perform my first wedding. It doesn't matter what it was or, or what it was about. He was willing to go uh, way out of his way and help me out uh, just because he truly loves and cares about uh, all of us here. We are here with Leah. Leah is another one of our residents here at Journey. So Leah, what do you appreciate about our pastors? I feel like it's get it gets talked about a lot, but the intentionality of our pastors is super awesome. I mean, one of my favorite things is I stop over in the admin office to just make my rounds and talk to a bunch of people. But every time I walk into Pastor John's office, he's always like, please come sit down. Like even if he's in the middle of something and he always asks me how I'm doing, how my family's doing. He remembers my family members by name. Like he asks me intentional questions about just like Amazing. where I'm living, about my host home here, about my home life back home in California and like everything. And he's really good about remembering my name, but I see him do that with the congregation as well, which is amazing because I don't know if I've ever that seen a pastor. That is so true. Yeah. He remembers so Everyone. many people. It names. doesn't matter who it is. Like you can come for a first time and he'll remember you. And it's like, that's just one of the great things about Pastor John. Yeah. This is Caleb Pickle, uh, our Journey Kids Assistant Coordinator. Uh, Caleb, tell us, what do you appreciate about the pastors here? Yeah, I think I appreciate most that the, all of the pastors, uh, we know at, as flocks of the congregation that we're mm. prayed for, daily and we're interceded on behalf. Mm -hmm. And it's been awesome to serve alongside Christian Wilson, uh, our family pastor here. Mm -hmm. He's just been a massive blessing to me as I started to join Journey uh, about three years ago in 2018. Nice. Uh, he mentored me. He, he uh, helped me with my leadership capacities. He spiritually led me to the cross. And Christian, I just love the way that you lead and, and how you're so relationally uh, equipped to lead our flock. I am here with Shelly, and she is our Community Care Director here at Journey. Shelly, what do you appreciate about our pastors? Uh, the main thing I would say I appreciate is that I came to the pastors to ask them about pulling together a very specific program to reach out to our church and our community to help more around all of the challenges people are struggling with from um, you know anxiety, depression, to all kinds of different mental health challenges. And they saw the need and they immediately stepped up and they brought me on board because they really care about the people in their congregation and the people in the community. And then of course I have a special place in my heart for Pastor Harvey because Pastor Harvey did my own son's funeral a few years ago and he's just a really special uh, individual and a special place in my heart. Okay, so I am here with Josh. He is one of our residents. Josh, what do you appreciate about our pastors here at Journey? I appreciate how each pastor is intentional in their own way and they use their giftings uh, with excellence, honestly. Like I love how Pastor Christian just radiates uh, optimism and joy. Um, Pastor Randy, when he asks you how, he do, how you're doing, he wants to know and he will, he'll be willing to have that conversation with you. So I, I love how Pastor John uh, teaches with passion and uh, on a deep level on Sunday mornings, but he also kind of delivers it in a way that anybody can understand it. Um, every pastor is gifted in uh, their unique way, and I love that. And they're, they're confident in that, and they don't try to be one another, but That's truly so they, uh, they operate in the gifting that God gave them. 
So I am here with Melissa. She is another one of our residents here at Journey. So Melissa, what do you appreciate about our pastors? Um, since I've been here um, for the past four months, it's just been incredible. Um, their intentionality has been so great. Um, I'm just so thankful for Pastor Harvey for giving me the opportunity to help out with the online services, Pastor Dustin and in his coaching and counseling. Um, also Pastor Jeremy, um, I've had some really great conversations with him and um, it's just been such a blessing and privilege to love on his children and Journey kids. So honestly, there's so many things I can say about all of them um, that I, yeah, just they're all amazing. I am here with Sarah and she is our executive assistant to our family pastor. Sarah, what do you appreciate about our pastors here at Journey? I appreciate all of our pastors here at Journey. Um, I'm so thankful for Pastor John and his heart. I'm thankful for Pastor Roddy and the way that he just has helped me in my time. And also Pastor Dustin, which I've known for over 15 years. Very thankful for all our pastors. This is Terry Hamill. She's our receptionist here at Journey. Uh, Terry, what, what do you appreciate about the pastors here? I appreciate the way they lead God's people with humility and wisdom. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I am here with Chandra, and she is our administrative assistant for our adult discipleship team. That is a mouthful. <laughs> but Chandra, what do you appreciate about our pastors? Well, what I love about all of them is that they genuinely care, not just about the staff, but about everyone they encounter. When they ask you how you are, they want to know how you really are. It's not just a generic question, and they want to see you grow, and they take time to help you grow. Like yesterday, I took a soul care day. They want you to take time to grow your relationship with God, and therefore you can grow your relationship with others. So I just, I really appreciate the time that they invest into us. Thank you so much, Pastor Roddy, for stepping up and stepping in to be our interim pastor here at Lake County. We really appreciate your love and care. I am here with Deidre. She is our director of janitorial. Deidre, what do you appreciate about our pastors here at Journey? Well, I, I appreciate their heart, their servant's heart, um, their time and dedication that they put in um, for the people here at Journey. And we just so appreciate all that they do, especially in the time that we've, we've been and, and they've been able to navigate through all the, the seasons that we've gone through. So I know it's been a very difficult um, season for them as well. So um, Journey wouldn't be the same without them. So. Thank you for all the pastors for all that you do. This is Jody Denon. She is our business director here at Journey. Um, Jody, what do you appreciate about the pastors here? Well, after 32 years of being here, I've been through a lot of pastors. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I greatly appreciate about all of them is the unique gifts that mm -hmm. they all have brought, especially mm -hmm. our current pastors. Mm -hmm. They each have unique gifts that I so appreciate in all of them and all the opportunities they give us by allowing us to work here. Sure, absolutely. I am here with Sandy. She is our executive assistant. Sandy, what do you appreciate about our pastors here at Journey? Well, I work for three of them. And I must say, all of them are very, very easy to work with. They they appreciate you. They, they're not demanding. Mm -hmm. And what you see them on stage on the weekends mm -hmm. is, is what I see all week. That's awesome. And being so easy to work for, they ask me to do anything. And I just want to say, it's my pleasure. That's awesome. This is Esther. She is our Next Gen Worship Director here. Uh, Esther, tell us what you appreciate about the pastors here. Yeah, you know, I think I really appreciate just the way that I've been welcomed. Mm -hmm. I just feel like everyone's been um, like really just uh, personable and also just attentive to their people and the way that the pastor is just amazing. Mm, and okay. honorable mention to Jeremy Tomlinson. Um, he's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, just been um, just a great source of encouragement already in my life. So truly appreciate that. I am here with Katie. Katie is one of our residents here at Journey. Katie, I just want to ask you, what do you appreciate about our pastors? 
Something I really appreciate our, about our pastors is actually how much fun they are. Sometimes on Sundays or Wednesdays, we experience our pastors where they're, they're on more the spiritual side of things or maybe a little bit more serious. But a lot of the sides I get to see of them are when we go to Gatorland as a staff and we have a blast watching the Gators jump and eat the food. Or I've had the chance to play some cornhole with Pastor John and see his more competitive, fun side. Um, the pastors are a lot, just a lot of fun to work with and a true blast and a true joy to be around and that's one of the things I appreciate about them the most. I am here with Vicki. Vicki is our curriculum coordinator here at Journey. Vicki, what do you appreciate about our pastors? Well, it's really hard to pick one thing, honestly. So I, I hate to think that it's a kind of a general answer, but really everything I appreciate about them. The, the way they not only care for our congregation and our church, but they literally care for their staff in just the most amazing, loving way. And I appreciate that. I am here with Josh. Josh is our production coordinator here at Journey. Josh, what do you appreciate about our pastors? Oh um, man, what's not to love about our pastors here at Journey? Um, we truly have one of the best pastoral teams um, of any church. Uh, they consistently keep a healthy staff um, culture around here. And I specifically want to talk about Christian Wilson. He personally pours into my life so much. Whenever I'm having a bad day or just need encouragement, he is right there, right there with me. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm here with Lynn. Lynn is our HR and payroll coordinator here at Journey. Lynn, what do you appreciate about our pastors? Well, what I appreciate most about our pastors is um, that they th lead from transparency. Um, yes. I think that they have an incredible amount of wisdom, mm -hmm. and most of all, they are true examples of servant leaders. This is Mark Wilson, our media director here at Journey. Uh, Mark, what do you appreciate about the pastors here? Uh, I just love that they all have a servant heart. Uh, they're willing to serve us. They're willing to serve the congregation. Yeah. Um, I also just love uh, the teaching styles of all the pastors. Mm -hmm. uh, I especially love how sometimes Pastor Dustin and Pastor John will actually invent their own words. Actually, let's take a look at a, a couple of those clips now. John the Baptist, he, he boldly preached a message of repentance in the Judean wilderness. Uh, wilderness. Wilderside, yeah. And thousands came to hear him. I make up words as I go along, you know. Your servant has nothing there at all, she said, except a smart jar of olive oil. Except a smart jar of olive oil. And she DVRs Inside Edition and Access Hollywood, and she follows her favorite star on Twitter. Or, or Twitter. <laughs> Twitter too, that's in Kentucky. You don't know about that one. <laughs> it's right next to the critters. Anyhow. It has been so great today on this midweek conversation oh, yeah. takeover and just hearing from the staff and what they love and appreciate about our pastors. Mm -hmm. One thing I love is that our pastors have such a heart for the community oh, and yeah. for the next gen for ministry. Sure. And so because of that, we get to do Fall Fam Jam. Yeah. It will be happening Friday at our Apopka campus mm -hmm. and Saturday at our Lake County campus. And it is just a great time mm -hmm. to get your friends, your families together for just an outdoor experience experience where you can have fun, yeah. play some games, have it's some free. refreshments. Come it's on over. Yeah. It's going to be a ton of fun. And then next week, yep. we get to do Serve Day. Serve Day, yes. So if you haven't signed up for Serve Day, it's Saturday, October 23rd. Definitely go online, register for it. It's a great opportunity for us mm -hmm. to give back to our local communities. And so we got some schools lined up, That's some right. widows and some other facilities. And we just would love for you and your family to be a part of that. So. That's right. I can't wait. We yeah. are going to have such an impact in the community oh, yeah. that day. It's going to be great. Mm -hmm. So guess what time it is, Cass? All right. As always, always we, we are, are loving, loving the journey. journey.